Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shell Craft One and my old barn door. And I am here to do the final flip through of the farm journals that we've been making, the ring binder journals. So I made um I made six of them, but two of them have already sold. So I'll show you the cover of those, but I'm not really gonna do a flip through of those because it's really kind of there's no reason to. Um, but anyway, so I'm just going to get started. Um, I'm going to do this one last since we did this one on the videos, all the videos. And there are more of the um, uh, Craft With Me videos um, working in this ring binder. There's more of those to come. But I wanted to go ahead and do the flip through videos so that I could get these in the shop because I've got people asking for them. So um, if you want one of these and you see this video... They are in the shop now, so run and grab it while you can because they're going to probably sell fairly quickly. Um, so anyways, I just thought we would go ahead and do the flip throughs and um, get these in the shop so y'all can grab them. So let's just get started. This one is called The Farmer's Wife. Um, uh, yeah, this one's called The Farmer's Wife. So um, I may put these all in the same listing and then just... Um, you know give you the drop down menu and that way i can just do one listing for them um so this one and the way you'll find it is called the farmer's wife and it has some beautiful vintage um this is like uh, lace seam binding sort of i think is what it's called so um that's what it's tied with and the way i tied it is i ran it through this way and then tied the bow so and it's attached here at the spine but you have this gorgeous i mean in this the sweetest this is a vintage uh, farmer's wife magazine cover from june of 1927 um and i just want to make sure well let me just go ahead and do this um and then um, it has the ticking the very vintage uh blue and it's like a cream colored ticking um for the background and then you have these gorgeous gorgeous yo-yos on the spine and i kind of wanted this to look um like it was encased in a quilt um because this um this patch of yo-yos is from a very very vintage um uh quilt that was found in um, a barn and it's a hundred years old this quilt was a hundred years old. It was from the 1920s. So, um, and then on the back you have, of course, the blue ticking. And, um, I love, love, love the ticking. So anyways, let's just go on in because we've got a lot of journals and a lot to get to. Um, um, you can see the edge here. You have lots of dangles. I added lots of pretty dangles and lots of laces coming out the edge. And I love how it looks from the side. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just open it up. Whoops. <laughs> well, there's 71 pages. <laughs> Actually, I think there's more now because I added stuff. Um, so 71 times 2, you would double that um, because of, you know, front and back. So let me just see if I can, I'm going to pull the camera up. There we go. Okay, so for the front pocket here, um, I've used a very old, old quilt um, that my sweet friend Laura sent me and then just added some laces here and some laces here. Inside the front pocket, you have some, some really vintage items. This is a, um, a vintage can wrapper um, label and um, some goodies. This is just something you can use in your uh, your journal. And then I have this cute chicken wire um, little piece. And then this is an envelope. There's a um, uh, there's like a whole little booklet inside this very very vintage envelope. Um, so just just wanted to give you um, you know some good vintage items added into the journal. Okay, so I'm going to try to do these flip throughs quickly so that uh, the video doesn't take so long. But all right, so here we have um, this is from um, I think it's called Authentic Paper Pack Homestead, maybe. Um, and then you have this beautiful envelope here that's attached, and there's a goodie in there. I'm not going to take it off. You have this very, very vintage. I love this, and um, it's already um, tearing a little. so. You might want to reinforce the edges, uh, but it's from a Sears 
magazine. I love it. And I think that's really cool because it looks like farm boots. This was from a, um, a children's book. So I just wanted to add that in. All right. I'm going to try and not talk so much and add quick and go quickly. <laughs> I'm going to try. <clears throat> okay. This is some of my faux handmade paper. And then this is one of the snippet pockets. And there's goodies inside the snippet pocket. How cute is that? And then a vintage um, little card. And then like a little tag there. I love, love, love this book. And, um, I love the papers that are in the book. It's like a devotional, so I added a few of those. This is some very vintage music paper. It's the actual paper that they write music on. This is from one of my um, uh, Charles Wasaki books, and I love the, the vintage quilts. Beautiful belly band here, and then this is a little stuffed folder that has all kinds of goodies in it. And then on the back it has... Um, a little booklet that, um, that has lots of paper for you to write in. Okay, whoops, let's turn that back around. Okay, this was from a children's book and I loved it because it has the little doors that you open. <laughs> so you have the pigs in there. I thought it was super cute. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted something fun in here. This, I think we did this on video together because I put these two pages together. This is from one of those um, magazines that my sweet friend had friend sent me um, and then I just added a page on the back because the back of the magazine page wasn't very pretty so you have the little rooster dangle here mm. I have a sweet little pocket here this is a sack pocket and I just added some of the fabric there you have goodies in there I'm not going to pull everything out of the pockets just for time's sake um, but you have some goodies in there and there is one of those sweet little little golden book um, charms that my friend Rhonda sent to me. Here you have a fabric flip. So I've added in uh, fabric and laces. This is all kinds of farm fabrics. Beautiful lace, um, gorgeous apples, and then of course John Deere tractors. You have to have some tractor stuff in there. Um, this is like a little um, quilt block page. This is from my farming charm kit. And that opens out and then you have this little little tuck here with a little sack and there's a tag um, inside the sack this is a little pocket that one of my sweet friends made and sent to me and I've just got you some uh, journaling cards in there large size journal area there and then some tags here in the little back pocket scripture pay, um, scripture card I've added vintage wallpaper here on this page and then one of those quilt blocks. I love this with the chicken and the cat and the goose. This is from Charles Wasaki. Quilt block pocket. And inside here, I'm not going to pull it all out because um, it'll take me forever to get it back in. But I've put you several, several pieces of uh, fabrics to play with in your journal. And then some journaling cards and some fun things to play with um, in your journal. Journaling cards there. These are from Ideals Magazines. And I wanted to keep these together because I thought this was, um, it was together in the book and I thought it was pretty with the milk pails and the, the cows. You have a scripture card there. Here is the barn door with the cows. I love it. <laughs> and then it's a pocket here with a journaling card there. I don't know why I moved that. <laughs> okay, you have a pocket here with a journaling card there. And you can write on the back. I put lined paper on the back. Vintage wallpaper. And then this is a sack pocket here. So you have a tag in the top pocket. And then you have um, a sweet little tag here with a couple of playing cards. Of course, a Holly Hobby playing card that I've added in there and then in the side you have a pocket and it's um, one of the altered index cards that I had made a long time ago okay 
And then, of course, I think I might have done this on video, too. I can't remember. Then you have the little dangle here. This is an Ideals Magazine page. Um, you have a little piece of stationery here and a sweet little tag there. Children's music paper, but I thought it looked cute with um, the vintage looking clock and stuff. And then I did the stamp strip here on the edge. Children's book page. Now I have this thing stuffed to the gills, so when you get it, you might want to, you know, take some things out or whatever, however you want to do it. It's a top pocket here, and this is a vintage, um, I think this was from a Sears catalog as well. Yeah, Sears and Roebuck. Um, so it's just a, a vintage Sears page. A little tuck over here with some goodies in there. This folds open. This is a vintage, um sewing pattern. Added a little cluster there. This is a General Electric um, envelope. There's nothing in it because uh, I have this book so stuffed already that I couldn't put stuff in the envelopes. So I had to limit myself. Oops. And then this is a pocket here. And this is a little um, envelope with some goodies in there. And then I made a little um, I used a uh, a napkin that my sweet friend Laura sent me on this. It says the patchwork quilt. And then you have a little notebook here with lined papers. Scripture card there. I love, love, love <laughs> this memo sheet. Little ruffle there. Color book pages with the milk pails. And then on the back you have the gal. And then in here, I just put you one of those really pretty doilies. This is a little pocket with a tag in it. This is a tuck, and this is a vintage um, uh, life insurance envelope that I got from my sweet friend. So I just decorated the envelope, and then I tucked you in some goodies into the envelope. This is an envelope as well, and um, there, again, there's nothing in it, but you do have storage if you want to open that up and put things in. This is a piece of Apple vellum, and then you have a little memo note with apples on it, and then a scripture card there. This is very, very vintage ledgers, I believe from the 1920s. And then you have these sweet little pages, and I wanted to leave them together because they were just so pretty together. Look at this farm in the winter. And then you have this beautiful, I would think she would be the farmer's wife. <laughs> okay, you have an altered paper clip here with a dangle, and I just put you a journaling card there. You have a dangle here, and then a scripture card there. And I just added this in because it fit in this journal. Um, this was a large notebook, and I thought, you know what? It'll fit. So I just added you some sweet little um, playing cards to play with in your journal. I love, love, love this fabric flip. I love how it turned out. I had fun making it. So you have the little sweet little cows, and then the daisies. Beautiful eyelet lace, and then this gorgeous denim that my sweet friend Sarah sent to me. And so I just added a piece of lace here at the bottom as well. And this is from an old McDonald had a farm book. And you have a little dangle here. Coloring page. This was from one of those magazines that my friend sent me. You have a little key dangle there. I guess it's... Um, and then you have the yo-yo band. I think we made this on video together, but I can't remember. We, we did a lot on video together, so... I could be confusing myself, which is not hard to do. <laughs> okay, this is a, a little fabric flip here that my sweet friend Marcy sent to me, and she did a fabric flip with pockets. So you have a little hidden pocket down here. So it's got a scripture. This is a vintage button card, and then some lined paper and a journal card. And so it's just kind of hidden in behind your little fabric flip there. I'm just trying to not talk as much and flip quickly. Okay, so you have some journaling cards behind there. I don't think I put anything in the envelope. 
um, but you do have journaling cards behind. This is just some um, stationary paper that I have on an altered paper clip. Edith Holden, and you have some goodies tucked down into this pocket. Again, I'm not going to pull everything out uh, for time's sake, but this is a stuffed, stuffed pocket. It's got lots of stuff in there. Okay, this is a little pocket that one of my sweet friends sent to me as a gift, and I thought it was cute to add in here. So I've got it stuffed with lots of goodies, and again, I'm not going to pull everything out, but you have... Um, so this is a floating pocket. It's not attached. And then you have another little floating pocket right there. And then you have some cute little um, fabric, fabric pieces to use throughout your journal. Another quilt block. And there's a little quilt block piece. Um, this is some vintage ledger. And so I just kind of folded it up and made a pocket out of it. And then this is a little booklet. I'm not going to open it up. Uh, but, well, yeah, I can, I can just slide that off. So it has a little pocket there, a little pocket in the back, and then plenty of paper. So you have a little mini journal tucked in there. Scripture card. This is an Ideals Magazine page. This flips open, and then this is a little tuck. This flips open and it's a pocket so you have some um, stationery in there this is a very very old old book from the um, early 1900s old children's book that I've had forever and I love the patina this I think was maybe like a, a placemats um, it was in a long roll um, so I think you it was just placemats that you just kind of tore off have some holly hobby Stationary here in the envelope is flipped over this way. I love the quilting inside the envelope. This flips open. And I love adding the America the Beautiful pages in here. Um, this is a sack with a recipe, uh, one of those vintage recipe cards in it. The world is waiting for the sunrise. This is from a um, a small little golden book. Have an altered paper clip there with a journal card, and then this was actually the cover, um, like the back cover, of one of the Ideals magazines. So I thought I would put it in here in case you want to do mixed media or something like that on it. And then in the back, I have tucked a lots of goodies down in the pockets. Um, you have some, this is one of those little booklets, um, like we did the pocket out of in the one we did the video on. And so I thought I would put it in here and for you to play with and see if you want to do a little pocket in here. And then these are very, very old magazine pages. There's several of those. And this is some old writing paper um, that someone had written stories on. So that one is called, let's see, this one is called The Farmer's Wife. And that's how you'll find it in the shop. Okay, next we have um, the People's Home Journal <laughs> with the little girl. Um, well, it's got the pretty little, um, oh goodness, let me think. I move the camera just a little. An orange, um, this is sorry silk tie. And so I just tied a little bow here. And she cute with her little chicken. I love this. I think it's so cute. And then um, it has the fabric underneath. And then you have, um, this is the coffee dyed fabric that I did with the, um, the vintage trucks and the chickens and the milk jugs. Okay, and this is the side of it with all the sweet little dangles. That's the top. Okay, so we'll just go in and do a quick flip through of this one. I'm going to zoom in just a little for you. There we go. Hopefully that's okay. All right. So on this one, I used a vintage quilt pocket and I stuffed it with goodies for you. This is, um, this is actually just the 
outside of that vintage scorecard um, little booklet, but I love the outside of that, and it's very vintage looking. It's got a good patina to it, so I wanted to add that into a journal. This is from that little golden book. We have the sweet little, um, this is one of my charms that I made, um, the little farm charms that I made. So we're going to flip quickly because we're going to run out of time. <laughs> this is a very vintage children's book. And then this is Belly Band, and it has a journal card and a little booklet there for you to do extra journaling on. These are little Reader's Digest pages, and I loved the images on them. So um, this is just a little chicken tag, a vintage photo, and a little um, vegetable tag there. This is from my favorite, favorite um, childcraft book. And so I finally decided to stop hoarding them and share them. <laughs> Look, Cookie Connie. <laughs> A little old maid card. Super cute. I added this little very vintage image here. This is a vintage ledger paper. This was from like um, an Amish farming magazine. I just thought they were so cute with their little hats on and their dresses beautiful little flip there okay and this is a very vintage envelope um, from 1949 and um, it's just the envelope but I just like adding them in it's very patinaed and I thought you could decorate it or play with it in your journal very um, very old photo of like a um, what do they call these like a cornmeal I guess and then this is uh, sunflower seeds it's a little quilt patch and then I added another little a hug is worth a thousand words <laughs> I actually think that just kind of got stuck on there but that's okay we'll just leave it in the journal and then I like her I like her hair okay this flips open this little fabric flip I had fun making and you have several different pieces this is a very vintage um, linen piece here and then the sunflowers and then um, thread hanky I love this <laughs> I think that's so cute and then you have this piece here I think that's beautiful little barn and look at the pumpkins in that gorgeous at the bottom of the um, wagon this was actually the cover to a very old children's school book, but it was like a magazine type book. I have goodies under this tuck. <laughs> I have a little dangle here on this lace. Okay, we're going to go quickly because we're going to run out of time. Magazine page that I've added to, added something on the back. And you have a pocket here with some goodies in the pocket. I'm just going to start flipping. Sorry, guys, but we got to get it done. This is a um, scripture card on a rusted paper clip, and this is like a little calendar page. So I left the whole page in there, and then there's goodies in the back here, too. This is a vintage magazine page, and then some vintage stamps in an envelope there. I have some stickers in this little bag here. Um, added some fabric dangles there, and then you just got a bunch of little goodies tucked into this pretty little eyelet pocket. I'm just going to flip quickly. I know I keep saying that and I keep talking, but I'm trying. I'm really trying. <laughs> okay, you have a little key dangle here on the chicken page. That's a My Book House page. Some um, a tag and a scripture card there. This is one of those envelopes, the mixed media envelopes that I did. It's on a rusted paper clip. I don't think there's anything in the envelope, um, but you have a scripture card there as well. And then if you fold this open, I'm not going to unfold it, but you have goodies in that pocket in there on this vintage ledger. This is one of those flip downs. You have the kitty cats in the laundry. <laughs> and then a fabric flip here that my sweet friend made for me. And this is just like a little tuck. So I just put a little little scrap piece of paper in there to show you that it's a tuck. This clips open. Vintage sewing pattern envelope. But there's nothing in it. This is a 
from an ideals magazine and a little dangle there a pocket here that's stuffed with all kinds of goodies I have tags pretty tags and and goodies and this is actually um i wanted you to have something from tennessee so this is um i don't know some very old tickets to a baseball game or something uh, that my husband went to back in 2012. <laughs> And then this little bird was supposed to be in here, like that. Got a little rooster dangle on this tab here. Holly Hobby page. And then this is that little um, belly band. And this is um, one of the little postalettes. And she cute. I love that it's like a little house when you close it up. I thought it looked good with the colors of this belly band. This is a child craft page. This is um, one of the um, I'm trying to think of the word snippet, snippet pockets. <laughs> okay. This is um, just a pretty little piece that I had um, with a, and I just pinned it on with a rusted paper clip. Um, no, rusted safety pin. Scripture card. Put you a few of the little charm blocks in there so if you wanted to make you some more charms and then you have a little piece of fabric and a tag here i love that the child colored this so i i love that so i'll, I'll put i put them in journals here's one of those fabric flips with the pocket so you have goodies in the pocket as well and this is one of those magazine pages a little dangle there with the little rose on it. This is a sack pocket, so you have a long tag in here, and then a scripture card. And this is uh oh, <laughs> this is glued in uh, one of those mixed media index cards that I did a while back. I think they're so cute. A little McDonald page. little golden book page this is a pocket and I didn't glue it in case you didn't want it glued so I just kind of put the paper clips on it to hold it closed um, and added you some goodies in there to show you that it's a pocket and then this is a, a lace pocket and I've just pinned with a bold pin um, a little heart uh, cut from a quilt and then you have a time card and a goodie and this is a very vintage um, magazine page from a Farmall magazine. I've hoarded that forever. <laughs> it's time for it to, to get used. Vintage wallpaper with a little postalette tucked in there. And these are the stickers that go with the postalette. Fabric flip here. Little, um, I didn't glue this, so it's just paper clipped and I just put you some little goodies down there to show you that it's a little pocket. This is from a child craft book. I have some goodies under there. Here is another one of my little charms that I did. Home pickling. This is from a vintage um, auto parts store. And so I added the sticker, the stamps down the edge there and then have goodies tucked in over here. Again, one of those beautiful, beautiful images of the barns. Vintage wallpaper. This is a Holly Hobby page. This is a very vintage um, receipt from uh, somebody who got their tires changed. Some goodies tucked down in here. This is a little booklet and a tag and a vintage photo. And then a dangle here. There's lots and lots. This is from a um, Reader's Digest book. This 
very vintage little ledger page there and then in the back I have it stuffed with lots of little goodies for whoever gets it um, so that one is called what did we call this one Yo, I feel like I'm in slow motion this morning. Goodness gracious. Uh-oh. I think a tag fell out. Yes, it did. Okay, let's put her back in there. Okay. This one is called the People's Home Journal, and that's how you'll find it in the shop. And let me see where we're at on our time. Oh, goodness. We're at 30 minutes. Um, I may have to do the flip through. No, we're just going to do it. Okay. I'm just going to hush and flip. So, this one... We'll call this one the Red Farmer, or the, yeah, the Red Farmer's Wife, and that's how you'll find it in the shop. So, I just have it tied with this beautiful lace. You have the beautiful Farmer's Wife with her little chicken, or her little chick. And then, I didn't put anything on the spine, just because I, I just liked the way it looked. Um, and so, and then you have the fabric on the back. You have the dangles. All right, now, I'm not going to, I'm going to try to not say anything and just flip. <laughs> Let's see how that'll go. Okay, lots of goodies in this pocket. So here we go. And this one has a lot of pages in it, so I'm seriously going to just try not to talk. Oh, if I knew how to add music, I would add music, but I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Hopefully y'all can see okay. This is a clear pocket here. Okay, we are flipping. <laughs> Little dangle there. try to be quiet because I tend to talk and and it slows me down on my flip through <laughs> so I'm trying to hurry I'm trying to flip fast this is a pocket there is one of the little um, little golden book dangles that my sweet friend Rhonda sent to me. One of the cards that my sweet friend Marcy sent to me. And so I think, I can't remember who I got these from, so I'm not going to say. Just in case I get it wrong. <laughs> Lots of goodies in this pocket. Goodies in this pocket. A little envelope. This is an envelope stuffed with goodies for you. I love the way the yo-yo pocket turned out. So there's goodies in there and then a little rusted paper clip attached, not paper clip, safety pin. Belly band. Little dangle pocket. Okay, we go. Sorry, it might be a little lengthy of a video, but y'all know I can't help it. I run my mouth, slow everything down. I added you a piece of the vintage quilt in here. I didn't attach it so that you can put it where you want to. It's a fabric flip. Little dangle. I love the tractor box pocket. I 
I just attached that on so you can put it where you want to. I'm getting sideways with my book here. <laughs> Got you some vintage pieces in this little pocket here. Y'all, I've been working on these journals for weeks, so there's lots of love stuffed into every little pocket. <laughs> fabric flip there, and that's one of the little pocket fabric flips. I forgot to put something in that pocket, didn't I? I would say I'd go back and put something in, but this book is so stuffed, I don't think I have room to. There's one of those mixed media envelopes, and in the back you have the quilted pocket <clears throat> with some goodies tucked into there. So, let me see. Okay, so this one's called The Red Farmer's Wife, and that's how you'll find it in the drop-down menu. And the last journal we have, of course, is the one we did on video, so I can flip through this one really quickly because um, y'all have already seen it pretty much. <laughs> so, I'm just going to do a very quick flip through. Now, um, this one we'll call The Farm Journal. And I put the doilies on the edge, and then I added this little dangle here on the spine. That's the back of the journal. And I added in these pockets after I did the video, or the, you know, the craft with me videos. And so this is a very vintage quilt pocket, and I put you some vintage goodies, and this is a sweet little envelope one of my friends made me. And so I stuffed it with some goodies in there for you. Um... So we're just going to flip because y'all have y'all seen a lot of this. So I'm just going to flip through it. I stuffed this with some goodies. dangle there there's our fabric flip we did with the dangles and the pin the rooster I'm not pulling stuff out of the pockets because I think y'all saw me stuff the pockets so I did add a few surprises in, though. <laughs> One of my little charms. There's that beautiful jewel tea book. I love this wallpaper border. Love it. Love that. I will, y'all, I had a lot of people asking me for the tutorial on this, and I thought I had done a tutorial on it, but I couldn't find it anywhere, so... I will do a tutorial for y'all. If y'all bear with me and be patient with me, um, I'll do a tutorial on it for you. I love how these turned out and I had a lot of fun making these journals with y'all on the craft with me so thank y'all for joining in with me on the journey and having so much fun that's my little multi pocket page that um, I really enjoyed making that page a lot <laughs> there's our chicken wire page that we made together Beautiful vintage wallpaper there. Am I scooting it? I am scooting it. <laughs> I am moving the book as we go. Love that way that turned out too. Flip 
zipping quickly. Almost there. There's the little booklet that we made. I'm not untying that. The cow's in there. The cow's in the barn. <laughs> Whoever gets this journal, you might have to take some things out just so you, it's, you know, but, okay, I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Oh, it glued to the, oh no. <laughs> it had just a little extra glue right there. And then you have some goodies in that back pocket. I didn't do these, the pockets um, in the uh, original video. So anyways, these are the farm journals, the farm ring binder journals that are available in the shop. Uh, real quick, I just want to show you um, the journals that have already sold. I'm not going to do flip throughs, but I want to show you the covers because I think they turned out super cute. Whoops, I'm sliding my mat here. So this one, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera. This one is one of them. I love the little um, girl feeding her chickens. And I used that um, vintage truck fabric on that. It has yo-yos on the spine. That is for um, my sweet friend Nancy. And then this one is for my sweet friend Laura. And um has the little rooster here. This is the one that I put the wallpaper on and I finally had to just come to terms with it I, I really wanted to leave some of the actual book cover showing so I just left it and just added um uh I just added the wallpaper to it and I think it turned out beautiful look at all the goodies poking out so anyways those are the journals they are uh, listed now in the shop if you see this video they're in the shop so thank you so much for watching sorry it took so long <laughs> I do my best, y'all. I just can't help but run my mouth. <laughs> so I hope y'all have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Big hugs.